Mark, you mentioned last weekend that there was going to be an in-house game on Tuesday. Did you get out of it what you wanted? We did. It was a very worthwhile uh, exercise game. So, you know, we had vital minutes in the likes of Joe Riley, Connor, Oshin, Taylor Allen, um, Douglas. You know, we, we got minutes into them. So, Robbie, Jan, Andy Williams, it, it was good. So, um, pleasing. It's been about utilising the free week, hasn't it, to get, like you say, those kinds of players, Joe Riley, Kai Wilkinson, up to speed, hasn't it? Because with the squad returning to full fitness now, it's about try to manage everybody's minutes where you can. Yeah, it is. And look, we got we got 90 in the corner, like I said. We got Matty Stevens, 45 again, another 45. Um, it's important because we um, we need we need everyone. We're going to need it as a long, I'm going to say, not long as in time-wise really, but it's going to be a long, hard slog to the end of the season. And um, I need everybody as fit as I can get them in, in this short space of time. There's 20 games left now. We start that 20 in the build-up to the, you know, that latter part of the season with Leighton Orient tomorrow. About as tricky as they're going to come, isn't it? Yeah, look, them and Stevenage have, have been the, I say the, the standout teams in, in the league. You know, they're a well-oiled machine, I will say. Um, you know, Leighton Orient had a bit of a dip <coughs> where they didn't score in six or seven games. They've won the last two without conceding. And they're on 63 points already, so I think another seven seven more wins out of their 18 games, I think, they're, they're up. Um, so they're within touching distance, but we do know that it's a tough league, it's very competitive, and um, we're going to make it difficult for them tomorrow as well. So, you know, we're going to give it a big a big go, and um, hopefully we got the three points come five o'clock. Do you see a similarity in regards to how the game might play out from last weekend as well in regards to two strong defences? I think they've got 19 clean sheets in their 30 league games so far this season. Northampton were robust last week, so it could be about finding that little bit of quality that you said was lacking last week in the final third. I hope so, because um, we need to be winning our home games, definitely. So, look, it's, it's going to be tough. We know it's going to be tough. They have, um, they have a fantastic defensive record but they can also hurt you going forward you know the likes of <coughs> Kalman Moncur Archibald um, you know they've got a Raul Satorio if he if he starts as well so they've got a, a good group of, of players they've obviously just brought Sadia, Sadia in as well so um, they've got a very very good team you've got the likes of Prattley Al Mizuno as well so um, it's going to be a difficult game we know that but it's one we can win if we're at it